voting for what team you want to see me use. Our options are Groudon, Kyogre, Calyrex Ice, Terrapagos, and Eternatus. There's about a minute left on the poll, and it looks like Eternatus is probably going to so get So it looks like this. Eternatus is going to win. Eternatus is our winner today. So that means I should probably show you the Eternatus team that we have to use. I should probably do it's that. It's going to be using Eternatus, Lando I, Corviknight, Pelipper, Orin Guru, and Tinkaton. What is this team even doing? When people think of Eternatus, they think of Stall. And while this team is going to be using Pressure Eternatus with Pressure Corviknight to stall out those very, very valuable 8 PP moves that a lot of Restricteds have, this team's going to be built a little bit different. It's going to be built around the use of AoE moves, particularly Sludge Wave. Things like Eternatus and Lando Eye both get Sludge Wave, and they can be paired with Telepathy Oranguru, Wide Guard Pelipper, Steel Type Corviknight, Steel Type Tinkaton. So we have the ability to go for like Sludge Waves, AoE damage. We also set the Rain with Pelipper to enable our Lando Eye to be able to go for Sand Seer Storms, the move that you never really see Lando use, but it definitely has. So hopefully we get some wins with this team, and uh, let's just hop right into it and eternate all over all of our opponents. Here we go. So our first game's going up against Ting Lu, Shadow Rider. Oh my gosh, never lucky. And they have, they have the entity so they can expanding force. Dude, I cry every single time. But I do also think that like, Wide Guard's pretty good if I want to do it. I'm thinking about Pelipper here. What's our Terra on this Pelipper? Do we have like Ghost Terra? No, or do we steal tarot? Cause I can, I can, yeah, dude, I like, I vibe with that. I dig it. Oh, uh, this is still really hard though. Um, I'm gonna go tank a ton. And bro, I want to trick room this. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go those two. Let's see. And then I need to bring the Pelper in the back and then it's either Oran Guru or Lando. They're both bad. But I think Lando's better than Ting. When you ask if I can trade you, I don't have anything for trade, buddy. I have nothing for trade. This is a competitive uh, battle channel. So the only thing we really do here is battles. But good luck getting what you need. Yeah, let's see. Shadow Rider's probably, like, not that great of a matchup. They have Wide Guard. They have, like, a Water Pond, too. Ah. Can I try our team on the Patreon? I, I do most of the Patreon team fixing off stream because we get so many people that, like, ask questions that... I try not to give like feedback on Patreon stuff when I'm getting like asked a bunch of stuff while also having to like play a team and do a bunch of other stuff. My mind gets really split into a lot of different situations. So I, I tend to do a lot of my Patreon fi team fixings when I'm off stream. The entity is throwing a wrench in your plans. It is. Like it's really, really rough. Cause this is like Poison Terra Lando too. It's like really, really hard. That's the lead I expected. That's why I still led Eternatus. But like we don't know if they're pivoting in the NDD, right? That's the problem. Are you just going to pivot an entity and click expanding, or are you just going to go big astral? <sighs> and we don't know what the item is on that Kali either. Very, very hard to deal with. I'm gaming. What's my Terra? I just want to check. Fire? Okay. All right. What's my Terra? Poison? I double dipped the poison, dude. Do I just fucking live it, bro? I don't even need to do that. I have 10 seconds to go back. All right, let's do... This is a weird looking play, but I, ne I need to see. I'm, hap I'm happy with this result, bro. I'm happy with it. I'm content. You can hit the Tankaton, dude. It's just Tankaton, bro. Taunt! Nah, fam. That ain't me, bro. No, we, we wake up and don't show you anything. Can E turn live in E force? Bro, I don't think it can. Like, I, I really, honestly, truly do not think that E turn lives it, but I clicked the gaming buttons. Gaming buttons have been clicked. I, I'm just praying. I'm living on a prayer that they did not bring NDD. It's not a good prayer. It's not. I, I think that, like, 
we've really passed the days where like Indity Shadow Rider is viable, and they're not. They didn't bring it, bro. Hey, are you following though? Because if you're not, whoo! <laughs> like if you're just hitting the Tinkaton and not following, like oh, see, we're praying. I'm praying. I'm on my hands and knees. Please, just uh, go down. Follow me. Damn, because I gigatoned it. But it'll still go down. Get yeah, psychic, bro. Astral. Dude, that's good. Like, we eat those for breakfast, bro. Eternatus might just kill the Ogre Pond. And it's Orb. That's so good that it's Orb, by the way. Sludge Wave. Dude, can we kill this Ogre Pond? That's one of the reasons why I double dipped. Because let me just break this Ogre Pond. Break it in half, bro. Come on, Sludge Wave. Let's go! Oh my gosh, you see that damage, bro? See what I'm talking about right here? Yo, Tinkaton about to be popping off the Giga Chad hammer. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Oh my gosh, Calyrex Shad. Oh no. <laughs> Dude, Eternatus out here gaming. Hell yeah. Okay. Terra's down. We needed that Terra to break that Ogre Pond, I think. Yo, yo, yo. Ogre gone. All right, Indity. Dude, they had the Indity. <laughs> yo. In the mind show. Okay. Oh, I can't faint, but he can't fake out. So, like, I just hit stuff. Okay, we gotta, we gotta think about what to do here. What do we got in the back? Because I don't want to throw. <laughs> Pelipper's really good into this. I think that we just go play rough here and Dynamax can in that slot. But I also could just, like, recover. They could be trying to trick room me, but like then Indities, then the Tinkatunk's just like in a really good spot. I'll double one of the uh, Mind Show. Like I can force a f battle's canceled. Dude, I'll take it, bro. I'll take it. I'll take it. Give me the wins, bro. Give it, give it to me. Take it all the way to the bank. We, we wins up. That was like such an unwinnable matchup if they played correctly, but we played our outs. That was such a bad matchup too. All right, Joe rank one, top 1K. Oh, what is that, bro? What? Bro, one of those is not Eviolite. How is this guy ranked top 1k? And how don't I care? Let me think about this. There's definitely something sneaky going on over here. I say there's something sneaky. Hmm. Don't care if they fake out. What's my... I mean, I have goggles here, right? But am I... I'm telepathy. All right, so you could fake me out, which I don't really care for. But do I have Ghost Terra? Am I go am I God? I very Terra. That's a weird one. Am I wrong? This seems like pre. I I don't think you can ever break the Corv. If I play correct, you can burn me, and like I'm sad, but I won't ever die, right? All right. Yeah, I'm down. Cool. All right, I got some shots here. There's some hidden sauce in here. I know, right? There's definitely something sneaky about this board from them. Now, this is pressure Corviknight and pressure Eternatus, and you only get you only get eight lances, which means pressure's on the board, which means you only get four. And I can just wall those. And then, like, I don't think you have damage anymore. Okay, so they're going to be Parish with... Can, wait, can Clef learn? They can't, there's no Parish here, right? Like, what? Clef doesn't learn Parish, right? Am I thinking this is wrong? I'm trying to think of what they have to do here. This guy's top 1k for a reason, I'm sure. Yeah, we boost him, boys. I mean, yeah, I don't... I don't know. I don't see it. I don't think Clef gets Perish. Taunt Ada works for me. I'm down to struggle, dude. The struggle's about to be real. It's okay. Taunt and Encore. All right, so you can't use any of these other moves. If I want to be on the board. And I don't really mind getting Protect on Cord. Like, I don't mind getting on Cord into Protect. It doesn't really stop me. And I can't swap. So we just eat a struggle. It's fine. I wonder if I clicked Instruct that turn, though. If I would, like, double struggle. 
Dude, that's good damage. Okay. Now, let me think about how I want to do this. Because there is a different way to do this. Because I'm thinking about... Let's see, taunt, encore, two turn there. I'm gonna get encore locked here. It's right to see if you can switch. All right, just make sure. I kind of want to see, like, can I instruct, I can instruct them to make them go first. Like, I could make the encore happen first and then a taunt. But it's better just to go for a double protect, I think. And wait it out. And then I eat the Encore stuff there. Because, like, honestly, they can't do anything either. Like, they'd have to pivot out the clef. And, like, I already got the Iron Defense up. And I have a Roost eventually. And if you pivot out the clef, like, I don't really care. Nice. Yeah, double protect is nice. It's two Encore PP, by the way. Or, sorry, three. That's three used. Last turn, Encore on the uh, Corv. Yep, so we get one more struggle. Nice. I'm happy to hit that one too, because like we wanted to see like if there one of them is probably sashed, is my guess. All right. So I just wonder where the damage is on. I think what they're gonna do is like encore my corv into like whatever I'm really feeling, and we're just gonna be body pressed this turn. Um. I guess I could roost. I could even protect for one turn. I don't dislike that play. Yeah, it's okay. They can't encore me into protect. I'm too fast. Follow me? Cool, cool. That works. Like, I want to see what the goth is doing. Is it follow me taunt? Maybe. Yep, nice. All right. Yeah, like, it looks like I'm eventually just going to bring Eternatus out and just, like, rinse him, you know? But, like, we'll see how it goes. Like, I could still definitely throw from here. Two turns there. I kind of want to weave in a roost, but I don't want to get Encore locked into it. You know, I think I'm going to get taunted. Do I mind getting Encore locked into Roost? I don't really, because like you don't, I don't lose anything for that. I'll go for Roost. Yeah, you can Encore lock. You can put me in an Encore on the Roost. It's totally fine. Yeah, you're pivoting. Cool. So you can taunt me, but I'm getting the Roost up. You know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like I'm that behind yet. Yeah, and you can uh, you can totally put the Corv to sleep too. I don't think that matters like that much. We're just vibing. Hopefully no. Do I get, does Rocky help me make contact, <laughs> or does Struggle make contact? There's the taunt. Cool. I mean, we got the, we got the boost up though, so we're gaming out here. So they can put things to sleep and pollen puff and do things like that. I'm wondering if the last mon is, um, Calyrex. But like Corv is. I mean, you can't tell me this Corv isn't in a great spot versus Cali. Last turn on core here. They can try and break the Oranguru, but like. I think I'm fine. There's no reason to hit the Amoongus actually right now. There's no reason to hit Amoongus just yet. Because like they could just, um, they get a Rocky and I don't want to take that damage. And I want to force Pollen Puffs and stuff like that. So I think I'm okay just to hit this slot. Yeah, Body Press is just static damage. Like nothing really wrong with that. Eventually they're going to Pollen Puff it, but like I don't want to take Rocky Helmet damage. Don't know if they're Rocky Helmet. I don't think Struggle makes contact. Rock Tomb. 
Weird. Okay. If Rock Tomb could be... I wonder if they're not Rock Tomb in the core because they think it's uh, Mirror Armor. That'd be kind of funny. Uh, I have a question about Instruct that maybe someone can answer. Does Instruct waste my sleep turns? Right? Does Instruct... Like, if I were to Instruct Corviknight, do I burn two of my sleep turns? It's a good question, right? I've never actually had that um, come into play. There's the Kali. Yeah, we'll see. How goes it? It's going good. I'm gonna try. Just wanna see if I burn. Like, let's, uh, let's check this. Last turn taunt. Okay. Yeah, just go for it. So that's one turn of sleep. I mean, that's a second turn of sleep. And then, like, Glacial Lance. Sorry, so I just get the KO on the uh, Oranguru. That's okay. It's okay. Got a plus one now. The next turn, I'm going to be able to Iron Defense up if I feel like it. Palma Ghost Rider. Yeah, I, I did that already. I did that yesterday. Oh, they Rock Tomb Policy proc. Okay, I see you, baby. Dude, I see you out here. I do be seeing you. Don't act like I don't see you out here. I see you. See, the problem with this guy's team is, though, he just used two Glacial Lances. And, uh... I got, a, I got some Pokemon that are pretty good into that. Hmm. I think Eternatus is correct. I actually don't even think we need Eternatus for anything. Like, we can just Sludge Wave, and that's completely acceptable, and just let it die. Um, but Protect is also very nice. Does Pressure stack? It does. Yeah, they're going to go Protect TR. So, like, we can just do this. And then if they can't hit, like, if they cannot break, they can't hit the Corv, right? Does that make sense? We have Pelipper, too. Poison is just extra credit, by the way. Just extra credit. Wake up, yo. Iron Ds. Cool. So I'm at plus four defense versus a plus three Cali. Glacial Lance, just don't break my corp. Don't crit my corp. And that should be all of them. That should be all of... Right? Am I wrong? Four... Is there one more? There might be one more. There's one more. Right? Am I wrong? There's six. He used three. Hmm. Hard to say. Maybe I should have protected the Eternatus that turn. I think it was six. All right, so he has one more left. So we just wide guard and roost. But if you hide, if you if you read that and you're a gamer, you're gonna taunt my Corv though, right? I'm gonna wide guard and protect. And just get a leftovers procking and guarantee. Because right now they're thinking like, oh. <laughs> okay, no more taunt. Awesome. So I can roost now. He's going to go for Spore Arenos. But like, the Kali shouldn't have matchups for this. Like, I don't think that the Kali really has like an in or out here. Corv is gonna get we're gonna get we're gonna lose the time, I think. That's where I think this is gonna come down. This is gonna come down to time. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're gonna get timed, I think. They can break the Pelipper, and then it's just 1v4. Corv might be able to bring it back. Like, you never actually know, but... Yeah, he's waiting it out now. He's gonna spore the Pelipper and then Glacial Lance that turn, but like I just got plus six. I could protect here. I could, could definitely protect here. Um, Cause they're gonna spore, right? Hmm. I'm actually fine going to sleep. There's the rest of our health bar just doesn't matter. Terra, okay. I'm laughing they have ghost terror this whole time. Like I can't hit them either. <laughs> Probably. Oh, Terra here. Okay. Water Terra. Cool. I can hit that for neutral now. That's actually really helping. Yeah, I think we're still going to get timed though, right? Am I wrong? This looks like a game where we still get timed. Oh, you didn't spore? Bro, why didn't you spore, bro? Hello? Are you good? I thought I was going to protect? Tantrum. No, 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 no. I'm, I didn't. I don't. I can't even roost. Like, oh, dude, this guy's throwing so hard. I couldn't even have roosted there if I felt like it. Like, even if I wanted to roost there, I couldn't. Like, you're you're sl you're slower than me. It's Trick Room. So now I'll protect. And then I'll wait out the Amoongus. Damn, never lucky. I think the right play here is the Lance, Paul, and Puff the Pelipper. It's fine. Um, like, Pelipper is eventually going to wake up and be a big problem for you, I think, if you don't break it sooner than later. You're thinking you can break this Pelipper whenever you want, and you actually can't. Like, you can, but you can't. And, like, I'm going to double into your Amoongus this turn and get it off the board. <sighs> Back to normal. I kind of want to go Terra my Pelipper this turn to not be within Sash range. I think if I do that, I won't be dying. It's not like we need our Terra for like anything else. I think this is the turn that they lance, but you know, they'll, they'll lance next turn. That's a good idea. And if I even wake up, you know, there's no reason to do it if I'm not going to wake up. Go for the Among Us. Protect. Whoa, what a gamer! No way! That's such a un that's such a weird play. That's a good one. Good stuff. Yeah, Pelipper got the wake up too. Unlucky. Wow. Yeah, Brong's a good mom. There's the TR again. So there's a fresh coat of paint on the TR. They can get a spore up into either one of these. But now, and then the rain's gone now. Oof. Hard, hard, hard. What if they're, oh, what if they're just out of lances? Like they didn't PP max them. I didn't even think of that as an option, but it's definitely possible. It's, they're out of lances, dude! <laughs> Yo, they didn't PP max the lance. That's fine. You go nuts, dude. You don't have any damage, man. Okay. Their only option is trying to time me now. I only have two mons, you know. Friend guard. Yeah, they're not taking, like, any damage there. <sighs> this is still going to take... I still think I lose on time. Um, I still think I lose on time. Yeah. But, um, we'll see. They're trying to time me, obviously. Falling cool? I mean, 
Corv can wake up this turn. Pelipper's gonna go to sleep. It's absolutely okay. Oh, Polympa. Okay, yeah, that's a good play too. I'm surprised they're not. Do they think my Pelipper has goggles? Like they're not going into it at all. It's not goggles, bro. You could, you could, I'm gonna kill it this turn, bro. Let's go. Scores getting equalized one map, one mod at a time, bro. One mod at a time. Pelipper out here gaming. Let's go. Here we go. Hurricane's so good. Pelipper busting, dude. Okay. Okay. All right. So you have Gothitel, or Gotharita, right? And that's where the Eevee is. I don't know. I think the clef was goggles. Um. Corviknight is just like immovable object. Three minutes left, dude. They're trying to time me so hard, bro. All right, they're trying to time me so hard. So sweaty. Let's see. A rock tomb? I'm assuming trick room. Protect? Whoa, no way. Really? They go for the Protect Spore? That's greedy. That, they could have just lost their Amoongus this turn. For the most part. But they're going to get the time. Uh, you can send it on Patreon. Yeah, um, I can try and check that out. Yeah, it has an Eevee Light. Yeah, they're going to time me. I'm trying to think what could I do here. I can't believe they're going to time me. Like, that's the thing that's really unfortunate here. We can technically wake up. Let's try it. Just spore the Pelipper, dude. You've been palm puffing it every time, but you could just spore it too, you know? Like, they're giving me shots to come back by not just sporing the Pelipper. I don't know what they think I have. But, like, I can't protect, bro. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see what happens. Hmm. Have you tarried? No, I haven't. But there's no reason to. He goes for a double protect, so he's sporing. Yeah, good play. Finally, right? Maybe you think you're Grass Terra? But, like, now, like, I still think it's the right play to eventually have one turn done it. I can't believe we got timed by this team. We literally got timed. Never lucky. Yeah. Oh well. I think it was a funny game. They just double protect here. Just click the double protect button. If they even have to use another turn, I don't think they do. I think they're just going to stall it out. Oh well. We tried. That was a fun game. They were like top 1,000 player too. It's not like this is like bottom of the ladder. Like I think they're like rank eight or 900 in the world. So it's like, they obviously know what they're doing. And I think we had a good matchup, but um, I think they actually tried to time us. You know, I think that's exactly like how it went. The Moongus is gonna protect too, I think. Yeah, GG's. GG's. Never look. Dude, at least I got my wake up on my Corv, dude. At least I got the wake up. And I think it's funny that, like, the match is, like, over. <laughs> dude, they only had 17 seconds their time left. Dude, we almost, like, we almost made them run out of time. That's so crazy, bro. I mean, we, we lost here. It's game. Not a close one, though. Very, so very I'm close. Go Let's try it. You say Groudon got robbed of P Blades accuracy? Dude, just don't miss. I never miss P Blades. I never miss P Blades. I always hit that move. Heat Wave? Can't hit that to save my life. Chi, you got robbed with Heat Wave. Groudon's fine. Chi, you should have gotten Astral Fire Barrage. 
I've got an AV Ho Oh team I've been goofing around with on Showdown. Best of one that's surprisingly beaten the four Kyogre teams. Shodo or uh, Ho Oh can work against Kyogre with like right teammates. Like Ho Oh Gastro beats Kyogre, you know? Or just like a Grass Terra Ho Oh is just like really good. Yesterday you missed three high horsepowers. Never lucky. Give Ting Lu P Blades. Dude, that, that, now you're thinking ahead. Now you're thinking with the Rocky helmet on. But let's see. What are they going to do? What they going to do? Urshi Pow. Okay. Yeah, dude, this Lando woke up and got angry, bro. This Lando, he about to be big mad. I'm talking big, big mad. We're just going to tailwind. And hold on. Yes, we're going to tailwind. And Altera. That's still more damage, I think. And I don't want to hit my Pelipper. Yo, this Lando cooks, by the way. Yeah, give Chew Eruption, dude. Just cut it, cut the fat, yo. Just go right to the point. Give Incineroar Precipice Blades. There you go. That's that's thinking ahead. All right, here we go. I I still think I die if they like Surging Strikes my Lando, but like this is our only shot. Like again, I feel the like close team sheet with Terra and Restricteds honestly is like it's not that it's an unplayable format but it's pretty damn unplayable yeah we tried we tried the reason why you have to go tear there is to stop the shim pow right there's there's so many different little micro things that can happen that like you just have to try and technically we did stop the shim pow you know shim pow didn't kill my lando or she did <laughs> so tailwind goes up it's good for me All right. That's dead there. If we want to stay Terra, this KO's there. And then they'll protect next turn and we'll be able to faint. That's our shot. Like, they can they can Terra now too, but like this is just what we have. They still have that Ogre in the back, but like honestly, Eternatus can outvalue Ogre if, they have, if they're like Scarfed. Definitely can outvalue it. Pelipper's going to do it. They want to get Pelipper off the board this turn. I wouldn't be surprised if they go sucker punch and then like I don't I don't know if that Urshi Urshi might still outspeed. Cool, this is free damage on something. Absolutely awesome. On the the torn, bro. Okay. Don't get confused, bro. Giga Chad Hammer. Nice. So they're gonna get it retail end up, which is really bad for me. But let's see what they're going after. Like if they miss an attack on their Pelipper, that's amazing. Sacred Sword, Tinkaton. That's fine. I don't care. Tinkaton, not required to win this game. We won't low roll this, and like I don't want to. I want to be able to stop a double swap. This is so sick. They're gonna hit my Pelipper, and that's fine. I can. I think they know they're going down. Oh, actually, we're it's faster. It's faster priority, anyways. So value. There's a Tailwind. So they're going to have Scarf, Ursh, Ogre. But, like, honestly, like... Like, we're really behind. But, like, are we, though? Yeah, we, we are. Um, hmm. I can't risk taking much damage on Eternatus, like, to pivot it out. There's no reason to fake out anything for extra chip, either. It's not it's not worth it. Or, sorry, faint, I mean. Surging Strikes is okay. Yeah, just let it go down. Keep them honest in case they want to attack the Pelipper. Like, let's say they went for a Surging Strikes into the Pelipper 
and like like a big attack like Tinkaton could have like dodged an origin pulse there and still got a player off into the urshis that's why i went with that you can absolutely like yeah i'm faster than you over here which is very surprising and we both have tailwinds up but my pedal for being faster than your ogre is kind of nutty and you can thunder me you're absolutely able to do that ice beam cool go nuts don't freeze me though are you fucking kidding me bro oh that's so bad okay it's fine you know um it's cool you know i just wanted to play the game um i just wanted to play pokemon today i thought that i was going to be able to do that um but it looks like i'm not able to do that it looks like that is no longer on the cards last turn rain i gotta protect like it sucks i guess i can thaw We'll see how much damage Ice Beam even does to Eternatus. If it does less than half, I think Eternatus can outvalue that Ogre if I don't get frozen. Let's see if they just Ice Beam the Eternatus. Are you real? You just ignored the Eternatus here? Oh my god. Fine. It's okay. Ain't no thing. Do what you want to do. Rain is no longer a factor for you. Stick some damage. As long as we don't take half or get frozen, I think we're good. I don't know if that ogre has the modifiers to outvalue the Eternatus. That's two ice beams. That's too much, maybe. Mm, no, I can weave in stuff. I get a poison. A poison's nice, but it's not like... Mm, it, it probably just won us the game, if I'm being honest. Because I just go protect, recover, protect, recover, protect, recover, and I just win. Unless you freeze me. The only way it would be something weird like a Calm Mind here, maybe? Doubt it. On an Ice Beam set? Doubt. That's four Ice Beams used because pressure. Six Ice Beams used because pressure. Two more Ice Beams until, if you didn't PP Max it, you're out. Hmm. I bet I could KO with a high roll sludge wave here, but I think I'm going to go for the recover. Just don't crit or freeze. Because I'm recovering these. Eight ice beams. High roll. Nice. Isn't D cannon stronger? No, I wanted that first. Uh, D cannon stronger now. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, D cannon is stronger. Yeah, I'll just use it from here. We win. Did he Terra? He didn't. Dude, if you have Fairy Terra, you can have it, bro. You can have it, bro. Okay. <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> awesome. See, like, Ogre's so weird because you never know which Ogre you're going to fight. I think that one was Choice Vexed. Because, like... It wasn't scarfed, and it was invested. It could have been Mystic Water, but it never weaved in Protect or anything. I can weave both of these. I'm not afraid of you weeding Groudon. Not afraid. Those are coming. And then it really depends on what I want to do here. I like the Orange Guru as a Goggles Pivot for the Amoongus if I'm getting, if I'm getting bodied. Orange Guru is also a decent Flutter Pivot. So we're going to try these. We're going to try some of these. But I think this Eternatus team, I'm not going to lie, it's doing better than I thought, but it's still, like, really hard to use. <laughs> like, it's doing better than I thought, but not, not amazing. Um, yeah, we'll see, though. We'll see how we handle Groudon. Not, particularly not a great matchup. So, I usually don't ever mind you leading with my Weather Setter if I have the slower Weather Setter, right? So, like, right now, they can absolutely switch in this Groudon to turn off what Pelipper does, but, like... What if I just, like, weatherballed the Amoongus and they pivoted up for Agarath? Like, that'd be nuts, bro. Um, I'm actually just gonna click sub. Like, what are you gonna do if I sub? And we can just pivot out. You see, like... I had a question. Does instruct work on sub? Like... I'm feeling it. Look at the last move set for his Bronze Long. Iron Defense, Body Press, TR. Um, Protect is good. 
Yeah, Protect is good. There's a couple other ones. Gyro Ball sometimes usable, but like there's a lot of support moves. I think, does it still get Safeguard, Gravity, Hypnosis? So yeah, saving that Pelipper for the later half of the game is really nice. I don't think I need to do anything particular with it, but like we're not getting Spored this turn. Unless they're going like Psychic my Lando. Let's see it. Spore? Nah, fam, that ain't me, bro. Goggles! Googles. Yeah, so my question was, can I instruct a mom behind a sub? I don't actually know. I'm assuming that I can, but I do not know if I can. Do you guys know? I don't know. It should? I don't know, though. No idea, right? Yeah, I don't know. Should be sound-based. Instruct, would that be sound-based? That's a weird question. I have not had that matchup happen. Yeah, I'm not pivoting either. Yeah, they thought I might pivot, I think. Not doing that. Hyper voice. That goes through the sub anyways. They can't even break sub. And then now we're just going to put like a fat imprison up. And we're good. That's a really passive lead. They got the throat spray proc, but like that's fine. Taunt Ankur go through sub, so I think Instruct should as well. All right, cool. I mean, it's good to see. For, it's, for, it's not for this turn. It's for like next, next turn. I want to see if they're smart enough to, like, break the, uh, sub. If they even can break the sub. I don't even know if they can break it. Because, like, if you have, like, Protect, Hyper Voice, you know, Trick Room. I don't know if you have, like, that Psychic or that D-Gleam. I don't even know if D-Gleam breaks land or, like, my, my sub here. It, it should at plus one. Maybe I should have went Poison Terror this turn on Lando. I think that would guarantee like Lando doesn't get put to sleep, but I don't even care if Lando does get put to sleep because your board can't get up Trick Room and then I just re-bring in my Pelipper and Eternate to some probably fine. Oh, they're thinking. I wouldn't be surprised if that Moongus just like pivots out. He's like, dude, I'm fucking done with this shit. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> He's like, nah, I'm done with this, man. Break his crans and shut down. There's the Groudon. So we can, we're back to being able to miss uh, Sans here, but I think we're okay. Let me see if we hit these. Survey says, oh my gosh, double Sansier hit. Oh, dude, Lando is angry. Angry Lando. Psychic. Oh, he just goes deep into it. I feel that. She's breaking sub, breaking wrists, walking away. No trick room potential for you. Okay. So I also want to say I have imprisoned protect on that Groudon. I'm just gonna win. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna hit everything and win. He's like, uh, uh, I can't protect. I can't trick room. I have to switch. Dude, Shiny Ground looks sick. What are you talking about? It's gold. Helping hand. Oh, dude. Okay. Dude, with them spine words. What are you using over here? Come on, let's go. Sansir, we missed on one. It's okay. We got like four Sans. Oh, we missed on Groudon, dude. Come on. All right. This is still single target, which means like, I don't think we outspeed the Groudon, but if we don't die, that's pretty nice, right? Uh-oh. We're dead. Salutes. Salutes up. Now, remember, you're still in prison on that Protect. You are still imprisonado on that Protect. You can bring in Amoongus. That's fine. Bolt. Okay. Bolt good mon. Last time I check. That's dangerous. You have no protect though. So like, I think the right play is just to like get your Amoongus like low key off the board. All right. I, I got shots here. It just sucks that my Eternatus has Poison Terra versus a Groudon. I, I could have just won the game if I hit that, that first Sansir. Maybe I should have just pivoted up for, San for Pelipper and guaranteed it. Probably should have. The Orangiru last turn. You are absolutely able to Thunderclap my Pelipper, good sir. I will allow it. Oh, he's just staying in, bro! Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't dislike that either. I don't think you break the Oranguru. 
Cool. Um, yeah, we good. Calm mine? Okay, that's really scary, actually. I don't like that. Dislike. That's a that's a not happy one for me. Wish I had Encore on the Soren Guru, dude. All right, so that means it's it's Lefty's Bolt, but like Calm Mind Bolt is gonna be really obnoxious. They can't protect the Amoongus, so their best shot here is to Terra it. And this is still my best play. I think I can double tap the bolt if I'm being on. Oh, no, Terra! <gasps> cool. I don't kill, right? But if like Ongor, if Ongor doesn't die, like if you go after the Pelipper and not the Oranguru, I'm gaming. Oh, good play. Such a good play. And now they're going to get a, um, what is that called? They're going to get a spore off. This is very smart. Good stuff. Now they can protect again, too. Like that's the reason why that play is really good. Here's Spore. Okay. They have D-Pulse. I could protect... And I don't know if that's right, but like this is our best play. Hmm. The throw, is that the thing that I do when I send the ball out? I think I might've changed that, but I don't remember. Let's see it, yeah. I mean, if Amoongus wants to protect here, it's not a bad play, but I think you should just be rage powdering. I would be rage powdering here if I was them. Because, like, I have a dragon move. I'm an Eternatus. You know, like, use rage powder, please. Please use rage powder? I asked so nicely. Okay. Dude, if you go Fairy Terra, I'm a fucking Chad and a half. Oh, no, no, no. Yo! <laughs> Call an ambulance, but not for me, bro. Let's go. Yep. Dude, Pelper just ate that, by the way. Deep pulse shouldn't kill. Oof! It's a lot, though. I think that's a lot. Um, we haven't won yet, but we should win. Um... Right? Like, Thunderclap is a weaker move than that. Thunderclap is weaker by 15 base power. If I protect and let them call mine, they are within range to Thunderclap me. I'm just letting you know. If they protect, I get a lefty's tick. Oh, oh, I wake up. Okay, okay, we're gaming. Okay, okay. Thunderclap, don't crit me. No, dude, no way. So unlucky. Oh, come on. Really? That thunderclap's so high rolled. Dude, that's such a fucking high roll. No way. Oh, no, dude, never lucky. Uh, he actually thunderclapped there instead of calm mining. I would have calm mined it so hard. Reading a protect on me, because if you get the call mind up, even if I get like a protect or recover, like you, if you if if I protected there, which I already showed that I have, and you call mind, you are within range for your thunderclap. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. I lose here, right? Because all you have to do is thunderclap, but you've already used a few of them. Protect. Okay, they're trying to wait out my turns or whatever. 
trying to wait out my rain. I will lose this one. I can't believe that thunderclap KO'd. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I, I don't think I'm wrong in that that thunderclap did more than the dragon pulse did. Because, <laughs> like, I had gotten a tick of leftovers on that, too. Yeah, I think it was definitely a high roll. He's not thunderclapping. And he's just a gamer, yo. He just knows I can't... He knows I won't crit him with Hurricane. Oh, dude, never lucky. Yeah, we're trying to peepee out the thunderclaps and then go for a Hurricane Confuse, but... Close. So close. Uh, I'm lead with... Do I just lead both of these and just try to come out of it ahead? That might be my best play. Come in here, and then, like... Corv's not terrible versus their squad... I'm going to bring the Tinkaton, I think. And I don't like Tinkaton here at all. Very, very not optimal. But I might need to do something a little bit different. Bobs, how'd you get in here? Bobs, have you just been in here the whole stream? Has it, been, has, has it happened in my room this whole stream? When did you even come in here, Bobs? What do you have to say for yourself? Bobs. His name is Beauregard, but we just call him Bobs. Bobs. All right, out of, out of here, Bobs. You know he's been in my room this whole time? Bobs. He was like hiding in the closet. Okay? Yeah, no, he's fine. He was just in here. All right. Co ride on. Ooh, that's a bad lead. I mean, they can sunny day over it, but like, I don't really care. Let's think about what we're doing here. How's Oreo doing? He's doing his best. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. Like, he's doing his best. Cool. So you have to sunny day over this. And then it doesn't, like, get you anything, you know? So we're going deep. Another thing, if you sunny day here, you don't get the tailwind. So... I might be able to get some value against some of your teammates if you have, like, not fast stuff, like, incense and stuff like that. But, like, if you get up the Tailwind, it'll enable, like, the incense to outspeed the rest of my mons, and I don't really want that. Coridon's already fast enough. Flutter's already fast enough. But the rest of the mons that make up the rest of this team, I don't want them in Tailwind. So I'd like you to have to Sunny Day here. I don't know what move you're really using against Pelipper or against, like, my mons, but, like, we're going to find out. I don't want to protect in front of a Whims either. That's why I'm pivoting this in. So here's a Terra. You're doing that just to lose your Dragon Titan. Probably going Fire, right? Fighting. Makes sense. You're just, you're just trying to lose your... Uh, uh, well, you're not really losing... You're losing your Dragon Weakness, but not your Fairy one. Here we go. Poison versus Fighting. <laughs> I wonder how much damage we even do with this Sludge Wave. Like, I'm not going to lie. It's a lot. It's a lot of damage. Sword Wave is a strong move, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to poison that Wims, but even if I don't, I have a Fake Out slash Faint Pin, so I'm good either way. Taunt. Yeah, I'm not... They think I'm going for Cosmic Power. No, I woke up and chose Violence today. I Wrath Violence. Breaking Swipe. Dude, that is... That's actually really strong. Why is that still so strong? <laughs> Tell me why. That's a lot. Are you banded, bro? Can you not be banded? If you, if you could just be not banded, that would be great. All right, I love a poison here on that whims because like you, I know you have Frigograph and it could pivot, right? I really wanted that. Ugh. Okay, let me think about what I want to do here. I have fake out and faint. If I were to faint the whims, I'd get a lot of value. I think I will do that and just go for my sledge wave because I'm not, I don't need to fake out whims. Faint would be the same thing. This can be, if this is like actually a, uh, for a graph, they're nutty. No, it's flutter, whoa. Single, or big damage on that faint here. Big damage, and then we have big damage with this uh, poison sludge wave. They're trying to block my fake out. We just went for the faint. Here we go. Oof. 
neutral damage, no poison again, but we're getting lefties procs or black sludge procs. So let's think what they're gonna do. I think that Karidon's banded, dude. I really do. That was so much damage. And they can pivot back in, but we just go right back into Pelipper, I think. Bolt. Okay. Not afraid of this. I got, I'm... Yeah, I think I'm okay. Big damage. You already tear it too. Like, this bolt's gonna take fat damage here. Alright, here we go. What's your set? What's your set? Who would have thought that Eternatus Rain checked, like, some teams? I think some of the teams we fought today, we've had a pretty decent matchup against. Let's see. I mean, we can still get crit. Um, Icy Wind isn't bad. Oh, you can't pivot here. Yeah, it's way too much damage. Honestly, like... I don't know why they would think I'd play defensively. They taunted me. I can't protect either. So it's like, we're ju them's just fighting words. I think they're just trying to like high roll me with a thunderclap. It wouldn't, it's not bad, but I think I still live it. Yeah. Oh, he crit me. Fuck. Oh my God. That's, that was like a bad play. That was like actually a misplay. I'm frustrated. Uh, that wouldn't have killed at all. Even if like they had a multiplier, it doesn't, even life orb doesn't KO from there. It's neutral damage. Okay. Never lucky, bro. You ever just have never lucky happen to you like all the time? Same. All right. Thunderclap my Lando, bro. See what happens. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna get my revenge. I was so fine there. Ugh. But let's see what happens. The ladder just hates me. What can I say? I wonder if they're going to pivot out Karadon for Flutter, but then they lose both of these mons. You know? They lose the Flutter and the Bolt. I guess they could go Protect Bolt and just lose the Flutter and then repin with Karadon, but then, like, I just Protect and then repivot too. You know? So... It's fine. Maybe somewhere along the way they would weave in a, get, get like a Calm Mind or something, but I'm not afraid of your Bolt. I have Lando. Here we go. Protosynthesis Dunzo. Protect. Yeah, there it is. So they're just going to fodder the Karadon, which is not bad. Flare Blitz doesn't break anything. It's the right play, I would say. Um, makes me have to pivot in my Pelipper, so I, I, I agree with it. I'm trying to think what I need to do to win this one. Because, like, it's not... We haven't won just yet. Because you can still break some of my stuff. You can Thunderclap my Pelipper, but I'll live. And so I need to double into your Flutter with Sandseer and Weather Ball. And that's the win. Right, because even if you were to Protect Bait the Flutter, it's an AoE move into the Bolt. And so, even if Flutter were like Moonblast kill my Lando, we would still take out the Flutter, and then Tinkaton Pelipper would outvalue the, um, sorry, would outvalue the Bolt. Because Pelipper has a Sash. I wouldn't be surprised if they're just going Thunderclap Pelipper and like Moonblast. I think that's right, and I think they'll lose both their mounts for it. So, or they lose, sorry, they at least lose Flutter for it, which would be nice. There's also the fabled Protect Flutter Thunderclap my Pelipper. And that could get dicey, but we still have a full health AV Tinkaton in the back. But that might be another like option that could be the best for them. Ooh, there's also the Icy Wind play as well. Like Icy they could have went Icy Wind Flutter and D Gleam, because like Icy Wind broke the Pelipper too. Like that that could have been a that could have been an option. I guess they could still Icy Wind, yeah. They could still have done the Icy Wind and Thunderclap. That would have been an option too. Yeah, we could have lost. But I just didn't I didn't see the Icy Wind coming. I didn't feel it. I didn't feel the Icy Wind. The, the floaters on these sort of teams are usually specs based off how they play it. They like to pivot in and out whenever it's pinned. So you didn't see it do anything else, so we should be good. All right. 
fake out. Hurricane, watch, they're gonna be like cloaked, bro. <laughs> Not like this. Oh, dude, he actually had the protect. I could have clicked faint, bro. I could have clicked it. Okay. I didn't see lefties. It's weird. They're orbed, right? So, yeah, the right play is still faint, I think, because it's like it always hits. I guess like Giga Chad Hammer is more damage. Here we go. Giga Chad Hammer. I don't even need to miss player off. Massive damage. I'm talking that big, big damage. Oh my gosh, it's hammer time. We take those. Revenge! We got revenge! There's two games that the Bulls tried to bring me down, and I said, no, stop it. Get some help.